Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got three very cool science updates. We'll also see if you guys want me to do a second video today responding to a bunch of things you may have heard this week about Earth's magnetic poles. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that things were pretty quiet the last day. No significant flaring, no significant eruptive activity. Everything just continued rotating, including the coronal holes. They had their solar wind beginning to arrive yesterday morning, and now it has fully settled in. Plasma speed rose from 400 to over 600 kilometers per second, with brief but significant jumps in plasma pressure. Level 2 geomagnetic storms occurred overnight, likely to see some reverberations of that today and don't forget there is a second component to that coronal hole and its faster solar wind it's already on its way here as well we're also watching the sunspots but at the moment we have decay and lone alpha groups content to fly solo for now on the left up first in the articles kind of an interesting one here as a solar kill shot scientist, I'm not big into crypto, but I don't begrudge you if you are. Hope you've hit some home runs along the way. Either way, studies are coming out tying Bitcoin motion up or down to anything and everything. Here's one on Bitcoin prices and solar activity. Up next, gotta love this, especially if you're familiar with the urban heat island effect already. They're saying here that the way they analyze it now pretty much trash, it's full of uncertainty, and that the urban heat bias may be responsible for up to 74% of the warming recorded in cities. If it's anything over 30, the narrative ends the next day. And lastly, on the article front, we're up over 200 papers on this. Even the UN IPCC admits the sun works El Nino and La Nina, confirmation of not only phase forcing, but strength forcing here as well. Folks, a lot of things being said this week about the magnetic pole shift. I usually try to ignore these, especially since the last time I debunked Mr. Burns about 20,000 of you through a conniption. Tell you what, you guys drop a total of 400 in the chat donations here on this YouTube video before my dinner at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. I'll run through the big bad claims this evening like a plasma sword through melted butter. Folks, plan your trip to come see us. Huge events coming all season. Check out the events page. Give us a call. I want to shake your hand in person. Your trip to see us starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.